Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a mobile app. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and you have to click on create a resource and you will be amazed to see that the way to create a mobile app is just like the way to create a web app. So you can type in web app here and click on it rather than searching the marketplace entirely from step one to two just type in web app in the search box and it will show you the drop down click on it and click on create and in this option select your subscription create a new resource group if you want to use existing it's okay I just find it easy to create a new resource script and delete it after the lecture is done. The web app name would be test okay sh make sure that it is globally unique. You can select the runtime stack code you can select the operating system as linux or windows it depends upon you let's say you want to do it for dotnet core or asp.net let's go for asp.net and it entirely depends upon the runtime stack if we need to select a version under asp.net or node because if we are building a .NET backend, then we have to select a version under ASP.NET. Otherwise, if we will be targeting a Node-based application, then we will have to select a Node-based version. If we are targeting a Python, then we'll have to create a backend for my mobile app to be in sync with my front end. So you select it by default, selected this, select region as you wish. And it will create a new Windows plan in East US. Okay, make sure that you delete it. We am using a standard S1 size. Depend entirely upon you. If you want to enable the application insights, you do not want to enable the application insights. Depends upon you. I am selecting no for this lecture. If you want to enable tags, I am leaving it default. So when this will be validation check would be done, I'll select on the option create. It is done. I am clicking on create. So initializing deployment. I'll pause the video and come back after the deployment is done. My deployment is underway. I'll still have to wait. All right. My deployment is complete. I click on go to resource. And now I will have to click on. Now we'll have to go to under settings and would go for the configuration. Under configuration, I would go under the application settings. Here I am. And under application settings, if you will click on the new application setting, just enter the name as mobile apps management. So it will be like this mobile apps management underscore extension v ers when and keep the value as latest and click on ok so now by changing this setting under the application setting what you have done is we are all set to use this newly created web app as a mobile app so make sure that you enter the setting name as mobile apps management underscore extension dot version as the latest to make this web app to work as the mobile app i hope you are following me till now and some and for mobile apps to work on you will have to define the database as well so if you would go on 
you know you know you have created a backend now you'll have to create a database connection so for now and if you want to create a new data store then you would have to first of all create a single database using the azure portal then after the after creating the database you would have to need to secure the database by configuring the firewall rules and if you using an existing database on sql server that you want to migrate to azure you can use the uh, database migration assistant dbma that will analyze the database uh, on sql server and find any issues that could block migration to the single database deployment and you can also export your database as well and in import it using the azure portal or sql package so that's how you configure the mobile app to i'm sorry to configure the azure app to use it as a mobile app i hope you liked this session till next time have a good day bye bye